going to Cowboys at Giants now, and we just want to take a look at the Dak to CD Lamb connection. We know it's been a little lackluster the last couple of weeks here, and we've wanted to keep an eye on it for the rest of the season because this is truly going to depend on where we put this Cowboys team. Do Are they Super Bowl contenders, playoff contenders, or playoff pretenders? It's really going to come dependent on this Cowboys offense overall and more specifically the Dak to CD Lamb connection. Dak to Omari Cooper always looks good and never is questionable, but Dak does target CD Lamb way more than Amari Cooper. I mean, we're getting like 8 to 12 targets a game on Amar on CD Lamb. And overall, the catch percentage is a little bit lower than we what we'd like. And on some big downs, big third downs, or even like wide open plays, it's either Dak not being a hundred percent on um, on the same wavelength as CD Lamb and it's incomplete or CD Lamb's out in the same wavelength you know CD Lamb turns inside when the ball's thrown outside CD Lamb turns outside when the ball's thrown inside and it's just the connection it should be well 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 more established uh, since it's really two full seasons now of you know Dak and CD Lamb being together so the uh, let's take a look at all of the throws from Dak Prescott to CD Lamb and see if it's been cleaned up um what were like all these catches were they all still bobbled what were the incompletions looking like and overall are they on the same page or was it just good defenses you know breaking up the breaking up the passes at the last second or were were these two uh, uh just not on the same page so Let's uh nine targets to CD Lamb and only six completions. Now we'll we'll give him that. Six of nine. That's pretty solid out here. But six catches for only fifty yards, a little bit of dink and dunk. Were that the big throws down the field? Were those the incompletions? So let's see what we get here and what these throws were looking like. Are they on Dak? Are they on CD Lamb? Or uh just great defense? Let's see what these throws, completions, and incompletions were looking like. All right, so here we go. We've got them all queued up here. So first throw comes on the very first drive. The very first drive of the game here, we got three throws to C.D. Lamb. So here we go. First throw up here. We get... Hang on. I thought it was 1309. Where's that? Where's that at? 1309. Um, interesting. Did I write down the wrong... Hang on, hang on. 13.09, 12.39. Where's 12.39 at? Why are these not li lining up with uh, these uh, plays here? Interesting. Um, all right. Did I just... Uh, okay, okay, okay. We take it back. Here we go. We found the plays. All right. So, C.D. Lamb had no catches no targets on the first drive it comes on the third drive of the first quarter is really when they start to target cd lamb so here we go first row we found it here here we go we got second and eight here and uh, he goes to cd lamb so let's watch this row here we go cowboys up six three start of the second quarter and now starting to target cd lamb just a nice little comeback route it goes for four yards it's complete it's on the money it's only for four yards because it's a little bit of a dink down route and uh, there's uh, three defenders all over him so nice little kind of four yard gain and it picks up four yards to make it third and four so third and manageable and and then they go to CD Lamb on the very next play. So back to back plays here. The CD Lamb first one was a catch, easy peasy for eight, four yards on third and four. What do we get here? Crucial down to pick up the first down. And Dak Prescott rolling out to the left there, and CD Lamb heading out toward the sideline and a nice little out route. And Dak Prescott puts it right on the money. Let's watch this one one more time. Just CD Lamb an out route to the left sideline. Dak Prescott rolling out of the pocket to the left here and just keeping his eyes down the field, rolling out and throwing on the run and putting it right on the money. Great throw right there. Fantastic. Exactly what we wanted to see. Picks up the first down on the money. All right, and then a couple of plays later, we get an incomplete pass here to CD Lamb on second and seven in the red zone here and this drive results in a field goal folks a field goal here so this incompletion 
Ooh, kind of the reason why they had to settle for three instead of seven. So here we go. Dak Prescott in the red zone. Second and seven, and then just a setup screen to CeeDee Lamb, and this is just not a well-thrown ball here by Dak Prescott, and really not even a good attempt to catch the ball here by CeeDee Lamb. Now, this is a wide receiver screen. So it's looking good here. The blocking is going to get set up, but C.D. Lamb and Dak Prescott just not on the same page of how and where this ball should be thrown on the screen here. Dak Prescott kind of throws it. I like where Dak Prescott throws this ball, but C.D. Lamb doesn't make a good attempt to catch this ball. So C.D. Lamb, a little lackluster overall in the area of the field where you can't be lackluster. You cannot be lackluster in the red zone everything must be buttoned up a hundred percent here because you can't make the mistakes you can't make the mistakes because if you make the mistakes you will most likely turn over the ball or you'll only get three points instead of seven and we know settling for three for three for three over and over and over again that's going to result into losses folks you're not going to win by just scoring field goals we know this so real disappointing here. I put this one more on C.D. Lamb than Dak Prescott. Man, oh man! And I think I I feel like I'm I feel myself saying that more that it's on C.D. Lamb over Dak Prescott, folks. And you know we've been watching these two over the last couple of weeks here. We're really trying to pinpoint it down, and it's seeming like it's more on C.D. Lamb than Dak Prescott. Whether C.D. Lamb's taking plays off or just doesn't, you know, he's not 100% wide open so he doesn't go 100% or it's just true miscommunication and just not on the same page. So, man, oh man, not great, not great. But let's keep going here. We got a couple of more plays to go over. So maybe it cleans up, maybe it gets it better as the game progresses, which would definitely be a good silver lining overall. All right, here we go. Next uh, plays here, a couple, uh, couple here on the second quarter. So here we go. Next one coming at 324 here. And it's going to be an 11-yard pass on second and five. Let's see what this looks like. Cowboys still only up 9-3, to three, so one possession game. Everything counts here. And this is just wide open. CeeDee Lamb wide open over the middle of the field on a nice little crossing route. And Dak Prescott puts it right on the money in stride. And uh, CeeDee Lamb's able to get another extra two yards because of that. So that's perfect. That is perfect. That is an example of a perfect throw. On the money, in stride, open, separation, all that. Dak sees them all that uh 10 yards first down all that that was perfect all righty and then they go to him on the very next play or one more play no very next play they go to cd lamb and now this is incomplete so we had one absolutely perfect throw and then this next one what does this look like here we go dak under center play action rolling out to the right throwing on the run and once again cd lamb we got to take this one let's take this one in the end zone uh hopefully this one is on the end zone. Uh, but here we go. Because this looked like CeeDee Lamb, once again, just not giving it his all. So Dak Prescott, play action. And it wants to buffer right in the middle of the play action. Absolutely perfect. Right, folks? Um, let's see. All right, we're back here. Here we go. Back at it. Here we go. From the back angle, Dak Prescott, play action, rolling out to the right. See CeeDee Lamb. This is open. But CeeDee Lamb not really looking toward the ball and kind of seemed like he stopped running 100% a little bit. And I don't, it just seems like he's not trying for the ball. And that was kind of look like what it looked like when we saw him on that screen pass as well. Like he wasn't trying for the ball right here. Man, only extends one arm, little kind of half-heartedly, little lackadaisically. And this, was this a tipped throw? This seemed like it was a good throw overall. Let's watch this one one more time here. It seemed to be a good throw to me, so I'm putting this more on CeeDee Lamb than Amari Cooper, in the, or uh, more on CeeDee Lamb than Dak Prescott, and that's not good, folks. I'm not liking at all what we've been seeing from CeeDee Lamb today, folks. Not good. Not good. All righty, what do we got? Next throw up here. Couple of couple of plays later. 
We get a sack here at a minute and 55 on third and four. So I want to watch this one. Let's see. Is Amar, is CD Lamb in this game, folks? Because Dak Prescott takes a sack. And I want to see why he takes a sack in the red zone. Third and four. Once again, having to settle for a field goal, folks. A field goal. So you're only up six at the current moment. And you're still settling for field goals. This is not what we want to see from the Cowboys. But here we go. Third and four, Dak Prescott instantly. Oh, my God. They brought pressure quick. There was really nothing, nowhere to go with this ball right immediately. CeeDee Lamb not open quite yet. So, for that, we're not going to – Yeah, there's really – man, oh, man. There's no excuses there. That was just a good old blitz there by the Giants. So, all righty. Uh, so, they have to settle for a field goal. Let's go up to this next th uh, throw to – CD Lamb, we go. When do we go? 14. No, no, no. Four minutes. What do we got? Third quarter, second drive. That's where we're at. Okay. Third quarter, second drive. That's second quarter. All right. Third quarter, first drive. Here we go. All right. We're back at it. Got them all written down. Here we go. Next pass to CD Lamb. We got it on a second and eight, and it only goes for three yards. All right. Not that impressive, but let's see. Empty backfield by Dak Prescott. CD Lamb, just an easy three yard comeback route. And still, it's a little underthrown here. Dak Prescott needs to kind of sling this one in a little bit. Let's watch this one one more time. CD Lamb. Going all the way to the ground, having to reach really all the way, all the way to the ground. So could have been up a little bit more, elevated pass a little bit more there. All right. In that next throw here, same drive on second and six, and we get it a pass incomplete. Let's watch what this one looks like. Here we go, second and six. They're only up 15-6, so still a close nine-point game. Dak Prescott going over the middle, and there it is. CeeDee Lamb just dropping the ball, just dropping the ball. Great throw over the middle, hits him in his hands, perfect placement, um, and just CeeDee Lamb not able to hold on to this ball, so... I'm putting it way more on C.D. Lamb than Amari Cooper. All right, we got two more, so let's watch these last two, and then we will make our final judgment here on everything. So here we go. We get a 16-yard. This is uh, this may be the best pass here to C.D. Lamb of the day, so let's see. Does this change our mind any? Here we go, second and 10, driving at the Giants' 29-yard line, and no, it's just a dink down, and C.D. Lamb does the thing. He has a nice stiff arm there, stays at his feet, and goes for another like 10 yards down the field. So their biggest completion was a dink down, that C.D. Lamb took big, and that's why it's so frustrating here talking about this because we know C.D. Lamb could be so gosh dang good, but he seems like he's lackadaisical. He kind of mails it in, phones it in here and there, and that hurts him. That hurts the team. It hurts Dak Prescott's completion percent. It hurts the offense moving the ball and all that, so not great at all, and uh, we've got one more throw here. Fourth quarter, third drive here. Just trying to ice the game a little bit. 654, seven yard pass. Last throw here to CeeDee Lamb. Let's see what this looks like. They're up 21 to 6, just looking to kind of ice the game, chew up as much clock as possible, and another dink down that CeeDee Lamb is able to break a tackle and fall forward for three extra yards. So. Um yeah, the the connection there, the deep ball connection hasn't really been there miscommunication on the part of Dak Prescott and C.D. Lamb, and it looks like it's more on C.D. Lamb's part, half-heartedly mailing it all in, not trying 100% for every single ball, leaving a bad taste in our mouth, and because of that, we are going to put the Cowboys in playoff contenders, not ready for a Super Bowl contender gig uh, at the current moment, not with that connection, not with C.D. Lamb phoning it in. So the Cowboys will be contenders for this week, and we'll see if that can change. If that connection offensively can get going, then obviously the Cowboys will be Super Bowl contenders and not just play off contenders. This defense alone is Super Bowl contenders, okay? It's this offense holding them back, which really kind of leaves a bad taste in our mouth overall for the Cowboys. 